and we will try to draw something today. So already in my previous tutorials, you have already drawn a mouse and you have also drawn a monitor. So let's do the entire computer today. So for that, I will first take this rounded rectangle. I'll place it over here like this. And already in my previous tutorial, you have seen this. So let's draw it again like this. We'll take a normal rectangle to make the stand and just drag it a bit. Okay. Then we will take a oval shape and we'll place it here like this. Our monitor is ready. Take the fill with color, black color. Let's fill it up. Let's take gray color. Okay, now monitor is ready. So next, let's draw the CPU. For this, we'll take a normal rectangle. We'll draw it like this. Then we'll take again few rectangles and we will draw just inside. This. Let's adjust the shape a little bit. Now, this is for your DVD drive. You can draw here like this. Then, for the button, you can take the oval shape, make it a circle a little bit like this. Let's take the rectangle again and cover this like this. Okay, fine. We can also place one small rectangle over here like this and just to give it the look of a CPU. Great. Now let's color it. Normally it comes in black color. So we'll take the black color. Yes, now the black color. And I will just do it like this. So to show it different way so we can just take the gray color and now it's fine uh, after that we'll draw the mouse for this we'll take the oval and change the color take the oval shape here then we'll take the line we'll draw the line over here like this then we can Take another oval to make it your scroll button, right? Yes. Now it's the scroll button and just take a line and let's divide it here in between like this so that it will look like our mouse and in between we will have our scroll button. Now let's uh, color it some other color. We can take this, uh, this blue color and let's place this line over here again. Yes. Now you can go to the fill with color. You can take this. Uh, indigo or blue color, we will put the indigo here and light blue color, we can just place it over here like this. And again black color, we can place it over here like this. So that it will look like your mouse. Okay, great. Now we will take the curved line to make the wire. So like this, you can just drag it a bit and attach to it like this uh, then we'll take the rounded rectangle and place it here like this we will normally you can give any color of your choice let's take this and now your mouse pad is also done let's now draw the keyboard for this we will change again you can change the color to black and then 
just draw a rectangle over here make use of the double headed arrows you set its size then to make the buttons two ways are there either you can put small small rectangles over here like this and make the buttons uh, otherwise another way is there just put a big rectangle over here then you take the lines and you can just draw the lines over here like this horizontal and your vertical lines and first let's place all the vertical lines then after that we'll place the horizontal line and we'll complete this box because there are around 100 and keys six keys and we are not going to make it we just give it the look of a keyboard just let's carefully place these lines over here whatever will come out you can always make use of the eraser lines just draw it like this way And just adjust it and you see it over here. Take another line. Okay. And one more line. Okay. And here we can place a small small. small small rectangles you place here or rounded rectangles also you can take just fill this space and take one rounded rectangle for space bar rest of the buttons you can just fill it like this because eventually we are going to color it okay you okay, have just place it over here like this few buttons I am making you can just fill this space and uh, what you will do after that you will fill it with color just carefully place all the buttons over here and we can just take the black color and we will fill it here like this okay and this will give you the look of your keyboard and we can also take the wire and we can attach it to a, this magnet okay. just you can drive it a little bit like this right so this gives you the loop of your wire now let's label it take the text tool to label it first part we can write it as monitor so m o n i t o r is a monitor then after that we can just write here that this is a CPU and then we can just come back here and here we can write that this is a mouse and after that we will come back here and we just write here zoom keyboard okay so now we have drawn the entire computer I hope you like drawing computer using ms paint or the keyboard you can make it better um, i don't have much time now so i have just done it this way you can just complete it and you can make it a better keyboard otherwise i think rust gives you the look of a computer right i hope you enjoyed your ms paint tutorial today
and you will make great tutorials and great paintings using MS Paints. Bye-bye all of you. Have a nice day.